What is up? Welcome back to another web app a video on FIFA 20. It feels weird just saying that, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to start on the web app, how I've started, and how to start making coins. Basically, how to make your first 10k quite quickly so then you can get your investments in before the EA access does drop. Because when that drops, the player prices will rise up from the current web app prices. Because at the moment, nobody has many coins. Because unless you've got some magic early FIFA copy, you don't actually have FIFA points on the game. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. Got lots more content coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But now, let's get into this. So starting off is pretty straightforward, to be honest. You just make your club, you pick your star pack, your kit, open up your thing, and then swap a player out for your loan card. I decided to go for French for my starter pack, well, nation, because... Usually there's some nicer French players and then I usually go for a French team at the start of the game with some non-rares and stuff because there's a lot of decent French players in the game so you can usually get some of them for a decent deal and then actually have an alright squad even with some bronzes and silvers mixed in it still usually does okay. I actually had some loyalty bonus so I got two random ultimate team kits with the team of the week kits which were pretty cool so I decided to whack them on. They're better than the default kits that I actually picked at the start when setting on my team. So I was like, why not? I'll put them on. So my account on Xbox has been there since 2017. So I actually had quite a lot of reward packs and also since I've been playing the game. So I just opened them up. I didn't really get anything too special, but it was actually half decent packs to let me start trading and making coins. So this bronze reward pack, nothing at all. Basically what you want to do, all of your players you want to send to your transfer list because you're going to be selling them. The contract consumables aren't very good. And this was the best player I got. I got an 83 rated player and a reward pack, which is a good boost because I knew I could sell him for at least a couple thousand coins. But yeah, all of your players you want to keep. Do not discard any players at all because they're all worth coins. And then your consumables, if they're contracts, keep them in the club now because until the EA access drops, no one is playing games. So no one's going to buy your consumables. But you can see here, I'm literally just opening up the packs put my card to the transfer list i'm having a quick look at some of them and then i think at some point i just started putting the silver and bronze cards in my club because i wasn't too sure what my transfer list limit is but i believe this year it's 100 by default you don't need to buy any of those transfer list upgrades but i should have realized that at the start and in my loan pack i got a lovely three players i got a van dyke sadly not an actual card but i guess i can put them in my team for like three games and have a good defender for a little bit but yeah i go through my players put them to the transfer list because in a minute i'm gonna go list them all up see how many coins i get from my starter team well starter packs and then get trading from there so you can see here i'm just looking through the players i pretty much only got one the decent pack pool which was the 83 rated but then i decided to do some spcs to see if we had anything new this year so these spcs are super super simple ones if you've been on the web app you would have done that you just whack in your players. Do not put players in these which are higher than bronze players because it is a complete waste. And it's the most simple SBC you can do. You have to, it's stupid, you have to do the let's get started SBC to be honest because you only get untradeable players in the packs. But yeah, I'm just putting in my bronze players. Nothing too special. Just whack them in. I was trying not to pick like French or English players. But if I had to, I'd just put a French player because I knew those players are worth slightly more than the other ones. But I believe for like the, the third step here, this next SPC, you need two players from the same nationality. And I knew the only ones from that like uh, same nationality I had was French. So I did have to swap out their players in here, use two French players. But it wasn't too bad because those bronzes I wasn't really going to use anyway. And then you get bronze packs back from doing the SPC and it unlocks all of the other ones. Also new this year are objectives and that is something I'm going to be looking to use some of my bronze players for and just quick ways to get XP up to get these new rewards because there's no catalogue this year if you did not know. So you can't be buying all that stuff in the catalogue with your points. You actually have to unlock it through objectives and XP. Sort of like a battle pass if you played Fortnite. But yeah, it's a pretty cool idea that EA have done this year. So these, these bronze packs, these are all untradeable. So I'm just opening them, storing them in the club. These players can be used in future SBCs. And that's about it, to be honest. Because I'm never going to play a game with them. And you can't trade with them anyway. So they're just hopped in my club. Maybe I'll whip them out on a rainy day. Last bit is my two-player pack. 
which was nothing special either. Again, 81 rated player, but untradeable. So those two just go back into the club. So the next look, I was looking at the SBCs, but I don't think it's worth doing them yet because the player prices are so inflated right now on the web app. So I'm going to wait until the EA access before doing the rest of the SBCs. But here, I go through my transfer list and it's time to list up the players. So if they're bronze or silver cards, which you know aren't worth much, you can literally press compare price, scroll down, see if they're worth minimum price or not, and then you just list them up. And you do this from pretty much all of your players. However, when I found like a decent card, while I knew they were worth more value, you do go on the market, search them up manually to find their minimum buy now. You can list players slightly above the minimum or equal to it, but I wanted to make sure my players sold nice and fast, so then I could get trading sniping to make a few more coins. So I did the couple bronzes. I realized the contract, it wasn't really worth me listing up on the market because nobody was going to buy them. And then here, like I'm going through my silver cards, Diata, he isn't really worth much. So he's getting listed for minimum price, just hopefully quick sell on and then I get some coins. Even these gold cards, like Marcelo, I knew he wasn't going to be worth too much just because he's your generic gold card. But I still decided to check the transfer list because maybe he could be worth like an extra 50 coins. And 50 coins at the start actually matters quite a bit to be honest. Well, it doesn't matter too much, but you could try and get an extra 50 coins. It's not worth just listing every player for minimum. You do want to check their value because you don't want to waste coins that you can't gain for player matches. Literally on the web app, trading only. So it's pretty hard to get coins. You don't want to be wasting them. So with these gold cards, I do end up uh, searching most of their names up to see what their value is on the transfer market just to make sure I get the most coins. So Marcelo, I list them up for 400 coins and I decided just to go in with my big players to see what they're worth. So I go to the rares. I got Jansen here. I wasn't, I was expecting him to be like a 700 coins, probably min, maybe 750. So you just search them up, check their minimum buy now. Super simple stuff. You can see there's none for 650. 700, I believe is the minimum price you can list him for anyway. So then I'll just list them up on the market. Simple as that. And then I knew that's an easy coins. Ramsey sold early, which I do believe he will be worth a bit more because he obviously he's an English player in the Premier League. And then he will go up roughly over time. But here I'm searching up my main player, Dejean, my 83 rated card, which I knew he's going to be the big boy. And it looked like he was worth pretty much about 3,000, well, just under 3,000 coins, around two and a half which is good for the start of the game. So there's one for 2.4. You can see I searched 2.6. There's a couple and there's one for 2.5. So I just go on to the market. I want him to sell relatively quick. So I just listed him for 2.4 minimum price. So then I could get those coins rolling. And then I just did the same with the rest of my players. You can see here, they're all listed up. They have sold on a lot of the cards and I'm sitting at a decent amount of coins already. So I cleared the sold cards and I did actually start trading. I picked up a snipe. So I started sniping with Jesse Lingard. You can snipe with literally any player at the start. It does not matter who it is. But Lingard, it was, I was looking through some midfielders. I was looking around the three to 5,000 coin mark. Lingard's minimum buy now is 3.8 thousand coins. So if I sell him, I'm paying like a 150 coin tax. Well, a bit more than that, like a 170 coin tax. So I'm now listing for 3.7. I've got him for like 3.3k. So it's a decent profit at the start. And sniping... As simple as that. I will do a detailed video on web app sniping with some filters tomorrow. And my camera just died. So I've got my bronze cards and my Lingard listed up. You can see one card sold. I've got 5,000 coins. My Lingard sold for 3.7k. And it literally sold within 30 seconds. It was very, very quick. And I completed my first objective. So I got another loan card. This is the Battle Pass XP system. So to do that, you have to complete season objectives. I was just having a look to see, like, there's quite a few packs you can get from there. So it's a way to make coins through the early access without having to do too much. You get a few milestones, but here the season objective. So you've got different types. Obviously, my transfer market one is what you're going to be doing on the web app. And then here, like, I've listed 10 items. I've listed 25. My aim was to then try and do the list of 50 items because I was very close to that. And I'd get some more XP for the next reward. And that's why at the start, you want to list up all of your cards. So I wanted this objective pretty badly. So I headed into the club to try and list up my contracts. The item don't actually have to sell. It's just list the items, I do believe. 
So I list the contract. Then I like list my random staff guy. And I believe that was all I actually could list in my club. All of the other items were untradeable. And for this objective, if you relist a card, I do not believe it counts. It has to be a separate card from your club or you've bought off the market. So you can't just sit there relisting one card every hour 50 times. That will not work. You actually have to do each different individual cards. So here you can see I searched for Lingard. There's one for 3,000 coins. I knew I'd sold one earlier already. So I'm going to make a nice easy profit here. I was just checking his buy now again. And this was just how I was doing the sniping. So that is like a ghost card. The web app's pretty glitchy. But you just have to search. You change the price. You search again. You change the price. And it's that simple. Here you can actually see I sold a random silver card. He actually went for 200 coins. So minimum price but he sold and then i'm listing up my lingard here to make some more coins it's pretty simple i was just repeating what i found was working lingards were getting listed up they were selling pretty quick you can see that one sold almost instantly and then the rest of my players i had another lingard that i had picked up who was listed on the market so again same sniping filter i was just doing lingard 3k you just change them in buy now and then you just press search over and over again but again tomorrow i'll have some sniper filters for you if everybody on this video goes to snipe Lingard, it's not going to work because there's going to be so many of you trying to snipe him. Other people will end up picking up the deals. But yeah, easy sniping filter and that's Jesse Lingard. Here I went back to my transfer list after a while and most of my players have actually sold on. Out of those cards I listed originally. So you can see it's just an easy way to get your coins up from the start. Selling everything from your welcome packs. Obviously, if you have less cards, it will be slightly harder. But yeah, also, next trading method is the right forward method. So by default, there aren't many right forwards on FIFA at all. So this back ev guy, he is not initially a right forward. He's a right winger. So if you search right forwards and look for the minimum buy now as I'm searching now, it's about 550 coins, 500 coins. So if you can pick one up under that, you're making profit. So I got this guy for min price, 200 coins. I can list him up for 550 and I know he's going to sell because one of the SBCs does actually require a right forward and a left forward. So here I've done the fifth list 50 item objective. So I got that little XP bonus and got the level 2 reward which is a coin booster like you'd normally buy in the catalogue. So when I actually get to play the game on the early access I'll get an extra 500 coins per game. Here's another clip where I'm doing a new sniping filter. I'm going for the English midfielders. I was checking what the minimum buy now is. So overall, it's about 600 coins. And then I was learning which plays were worth more. So this Willock, I should have bought straight away an instinct buy. However, I was a little bit late. But you can search English Premier League, usually silver. You can go through different positions. It doesn't even have to be English. Just some silver BPL players. You have to search them up, do a quick compare price, see if they're under their buy now, and then you pick them up quickly. So I'm in the 59th minute. Having a look, this Willock kept glitching out. He actually had already been bought. However, it wasn't really working or showing up on the web app, which was pretty annoying. But here, I keep trying to buy him, and it does not work. Going back on my transfer list, the back ev in the right forward position had sold on, and then I just relisted the rest of my players. If cards weren't at their minimum price when I listed them, I did take them down to the minimum price because I did want them to sell. And I really wanted to hit 10,000 coins before I uploaded the video just like it's a little mini milestone. So Grant here, I did pick up using the silver English Premier League method. I picked him up for 300 coins, which is a little bit, but I knew I could at least sell him for 400, which looking at that, you're getting less than 100 coin profit. But again, it's just inches. I was trying to get to that 10,000 coin mark. And at the start of the game, if you make like 70 coins on a trade, it's little, but it's not the end of the world because it's on the web app. Any profit is profit. So I'm listing up my cards, very simple stuff again, just relisting some players. And then I knew if all of my cards sold, which was selling, I'd get to that 10,000 coin mark, which I would be happy with. But I'm just here, got a new player to snipe. It's Almiron from Newcastle. So he's a non-rare card who is actually worth about 2.3 thousand coins. Here he is. You can see my method was 2,000 coins max I'd pay, and then I'm just changing the price up and down. Here you can see my original card did sell on, and I was 30 coins off that 10,000 coin mark. I was just looking if there was something I could like discard, but don't discard cards. 
I just went for a new sniping field to Geraldton. I picked him up for 1.2k. He's going for about 1.4 to 1.5. Again, it was just a sniping filter. You just search on players, see what their buy now is. I just searched them for a quick minute and he sold instantly. And there we go, 10,100 coins. I am going to do a trading to 1 million coin series, but I will probably wait until the game is out fully so I don't actually waste my hours because recording on the web app isn't the best thing. But that's how I made my first 10,000 coins. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a comment down below. Do you want me to do 10 to 50k, 10 to 25k? Do you want some bidding methods? When the early access is out, it'll be a lot easier to trade because currently on the web app, it is pretty hard. But I got to my first 10,000 coins. Let me know how many coins you've got. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video.